Former State Senator Gene Stipe was remembered as a man of the people this week during a memorial service in his hometown of McAllister. Stipe died on July 21st at the age of 85 after a long illness. Gene Stipe was one of the most colorful characters in Oklahoma history, a brilliant orator who served in the legislature for 53 years. He entered the House of Representatives in 1948 at the age of 21 and became a state senator in 1956. Stipe served there until 2003. Stipe grew up in poverty and was a longtime champion for the poor. He was also an advocate for education, corrections, highways, workers' rights, and mental health treatment. Why do we need to protect it? The Constitution protects it. Stipe was a successful trial lawyer, a dominant figure at the Capitol, and in and around Pittsburgh County. Voters there elected him 15 times. I've had a great romance with the people of this district. Stipe was indicted a handful of times, but beat the government on every one until he pleaded guilty to federal campaign violations in 2003. He resigned from the Senate on March 11th of that year. Senior federal judge Lee R. West of the Western District of Oklahoma, you were a longtime friend of Gene Stipe. We've heard it said many times this week that he was a man of the people. How so? Well, uh, he, his interests, he grew up from very humble beginnings, as, as you perhaps know, and uh, was elected at a very early age to represent those people who came from the hills and the dust of, of uh, eastern Oklahoma. And it was a natural uh, inclination for him to be concerned for their welfare and their interests, and it remained so all of his life. Gene Stipe was an outstanding lawyer and a very persuasive speaker. Very, very persuasive, uh, outstanding lawyer, and an uh, uh, equally impressive legislator, of course. And when he spoke, the other legislators listened? Very, very much so. Uh, judge Vicki Miles LaGrange, who is the chief judge of the Western District now, said that he, he, she served with him in the Senate and said that he was very friendly and collegial, and yet his wit and humor was very, very helpful in resolving very contentious debates they had over very serious issues. And everybody that served with him in the legislature liked him. And Governor Henry Bellman, among others, also recognized his abilities. He, he was asked on several occasions in my presence who was the most impressive uh, public servant that he dealt with in state government. And he always forthrightly admitted immediately that it was Senator Gene Stipe. Senator Stipe was often used as a reason for enacting term limits, but his constituents back in McAllister kept sending him to the Capitol. He stayed in it for 53 years, which was the longest serving public service, elected per public servant in the, in the world, as a matter of fact, at the time he resigned. He was, however, a polarizing figure. Why do you think that is so? Well, I think it was because he was a very, very uh, dedicated uh, uh, person insofar his clients or his constituents were concerned and uh, it created uh, and he was a very effective one so when when he was engaged in these fights he really he really fought very hard and it created uh, a great deal of, of uh, ill feeling on the part of some people. Gene Stipe did well for himself but he was a strong believer in public service. He was a strong believer in public service and the needs of uh, poor people. He and Dr. Hayden Donahue created all the mental health programs that now exist, or, and they started it, did it almost without help at that time. How do you think he should be remembered? Well, I think he should just be remembered as a man who made some very serious mistakes, but who was in balancing all of the things that he did for this state and for his constituents he should be remembered as a very beloved and, and a very, very appreciated man. Federal Judge Lee West, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Dick, very kindly.